hi everybody this is Courtney Hale and I'm here today to talk to you about this piece called Turtle Island and to also talk to you about some of the Native American traditions and stories that have to do with a turtle, turtle lodge, and deluge. They're all connected. In this painting here you can see the turtle which is Turtle Island, the continent that we live on. Uh, in the center, of course, you can see the, the sun that gives life to everything here. Uh, you can see that this turtle island is surrounded by water. And, uh, you know, obviously water is life, and we've known that for a long time here on Turtle Island. Uh, you can see here also the four directions, one, two, three, four. Okay, around Turtle Island, you can see all of the spirits coming in. Sometimes in ceremony, uh, if somebody takes a picture, you can actually see a bunch of orbs. And so these little uh, bright balls are kind of representing the spirits that come to join us when we're in prayer and we're in ceremony. So right now what we have going on on Turtle Island is this massive revolution where we're all coming together. And uh, again, I wanna give a shout out to these amazing people at Sanding Rock who are protecting the water and the people in Iowa and the people in Florida, the people everywhere we're really standing up. So if you're watching this, hit share with your friends, okay? Because um, nobody knows that this is going on unless you share with them. So the first thing you should do after you check this out is you should share. Um, this is one of my favorite paintings because um, I love turtles, I love water, and I love the colors in this one. And okay, there's further significance in here, as you can see, there are all of these facets on the mama turtle's back, and those represent the different races of human beings. You can see that there's red and white and yellow and brown and black, and you can see also that there's two of them because it's not just men, it's also women. So this is available uh, for purchase on the website as a print. Um, and I've been working really hard on the website, so I wanted to share this with you. Um, I wanted to also tell you a little bit about this legend of Turtle Island and where that came from. Um, we have this story that came from the Middle East that was about the deluge and about Noah's Ark. Um, there was something similar that must have happened all over the planet because there are stories here, the oral traditions, about how there was once a great flood. So the story essentially goes that uh, there was this huge flood and certain people had prepared themselves by creating a raft of sorts. And they were on this raft with you know many different kinds of animals. And each version of this story is a little bit different. Um, so I'm blending a number of them and I won't claim to have taken it from any one tradition. Uh, so don't hold me to anything. But a uh, general version is deluge flood like Noah's Ark on a raft, lots of animals. Um, what happens is after the rain has stopped after a long, long time and all of the land has disappeared, they send out all kinds of different animals. They send out birds, they send out dolphins, and everybody is looking for land, just like the dove with Noah's Ark. And um, what happens is they lose all of these animals. Um, finally, they realize that they need to get a little paw full of dirt or earth. And so uh, they're going to try to recreate uh, the land that they once lived on by acquiring just a little bit of earth. And um, in one of the stories, a muskrat actually dives down and goes all the way down and finds a piece of earth and brings it up. And it's kind of dramatic with the last breath, uh, you know, puts it up on the raft. And when that piece of earth is put up onto that raft, then that actually becomes Turtle Island that we live on now. So um, I love that story and that's why I created this painting. Uh, I also created it with Standing Rock in mind and these times that we have now where um, basically we have all of these different kinds of people coming together in order to make things happen. Uh, so tonight we have Moon Lodge and I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody. Back here is the book that we use for Moon Lodge, uh, 13 Original Clan Mothers. Um, there are supposed to have been 13 moons on Turtle's back, which is another echo of the same type of story. Um, the, there are 13 moons, 13 lunar months in a year, and because of that they say that there's 13 moons on Turtle's back. There's a certain type of tortoise shell as well uh, that actually has 13 articulations. 
And so people would use that as a, a calendar to keep track of the way that time moves, uh, in reality moves that way. The Gregorian calendar is actually uh, an altered calendar, and that's why we have to add a quarter of a day and uh, keep on adjusting it. It's not a very accurate calendar. Uh, a lunar calendar is really quite accurate, and it's in resonance and in harmony with uh, the universe and with the cycles of the planets. So it makes it a lot more appealing. Um, okay. I think that's about all. Uh, I'd like to encourage you for holiday gifts to buy something meaningful for someone. Um, these prints are available. Um, if you want to join us for Moon Lunch, uh, we're going to do an introduction tonight. So go to the 13th moon or um, go to CourtneyHaleArt.com and you can buy a little print.